All right, let's take a look at the number six FRQ 2023 BC calculus exam. Um, I heard this one was a little weird. Um, I have not just nothing specific, just that it was a little bit tricky. If I have any corrections, I will put them in the comments below. There are no official solutions. So these are just my best guess at what the answers look like. So the function has derivatives of all orders of real numbers. It is known that this is here, this is true, this is true, and this is true. Okay, so they give you some derivatives here. Find the fourth derivative with respect to x. So we're going to take the derivative of this thing. So the fourth derivative is just going to be the derivative of this guy right here. So we're going to do product rule. So this is going to be negative 2, derivative of the negative 2x times f prime of x squared, plus the negative 2x times the derivative of this guy, which is going to be f double prime of x squared. Then by chain rule, though, the inside here, I got to multiply by 2x. So that is going to be negative 2 f prime of x squared minus 4x squared f double prime of x squared. And um, they want to, with respect, find the fourth derivative. Now, because it has an f double prime in here and you know f double prime, I honestly would probably simplify it because, I don't know, I, I'm not entirely sure. They didn't say if this would be sufficient, but just for completeness, I'm going to plug that right into there. Negative 2 f prime of x squared minus 4x squared times negative f of x squared. So then this would be negative 2 f prime of x squared plus 4x squared f of x squared. I don't know. We just do it like that. Whether you have to do that step or not, I'm not entirely sure. They were not very specific there. Write the fourth degree Taylor polynomial about x equals 0 and show your work. So fourth degree Taylor polynomial is going to be f of 0. Uh, plus f prime at 0 over 1 factorial, x to the first power, then the second derivative at 0 over 2 factorial x squared, then the third derivative at 0 over 3 factorial x cubed. It's a McLaurin series when you do x equals 0, basically. Then the fourth derivative at 0 over 4 factorial x to the fourth. Now, what is these? We know f of 0 is 2, so we know this is 2. We know this guy is 3, they tell us. f double prime at 0 is just negative f of 0. Negative, so let's just write that out. Um, f double prime at 0 is negative f of 0 squared, right? Which is just negative f of 0, which is um, f of 0 is 2, so it's a negative 2. So this guy here is negative 2. And then f triple prime at 0 is this thing, it's negative 2 times 0. Well, that doesn't really matter, f prime at 0 squared, that's just 0, because 2 times 0 is 0. And then the fourth derivative at 0 is what we just found, negative 2 f prime at 0 squared, which is just 0, plus 4 times 0, uh, it doesn't matter, f of 0, right? So the f prime at 0 is 3, so this is negative 2 times 3, which is negative 6. So this guy is 0. This guy is negative 6. So our Taylor polynomial, without doing a bunch of work, it's going to be 2 plus 3x minus 2 over 2 minus x squared. No x cubed term. 4 factorial is 24. So that's minus, or you could do it as factorial. You can leave them like that. But I'm just minus uh, 1 fourth x to the fourth. That would probably be the ex answer there. No x cubed term. Okay, the fourth degree, let's see, anything else I missed there? No, fourth degree Taylor polynomial about x equals zero is used to approximate f of 0 0.1. Given that f of five is less than or equal to 15 between zero and 0.5, use the Lagrange error round to show that this approximation was within 10 to the fifth of the exact value. So Lagrange error round is always you look at the nth term. So the next term, so the, the, so, so the Lagrange error bound, okay, this, so your error bound, is equal to the maximum of the fifth derivative. So you do the max of the fifth derivative, okay, over the interval from 0 to 1, 0 to 0 0.1 technically, where you're approximating, over n factorial x to the fifth, right? So um, I shouldn't put x, I should put like, usually you put this like zeta symbol there or something like that, because it's not x. So now in this case, it's going to be 5 factorial. So we make that n factorial 5 factorial. And instead of x to the fifth, it's going to be 0 0.1 to the fifth, because that's our approximation. So that's 1 tenth to the fifth. So now the maximum they tell you 
this is telling you that the maximum is 15. And that includes the interval from 0 to 0 0.1. So this is sufficient. So we could say that this is equal to 15 over 5 factorial times 1 tenth to the fifth, right? So that's 15 over, let's just 5. Because I want to be less than, ten, uh, is within 1 over 10 to the fifth. Oh, uh, I guess you could just show that this thing is less than 1. So 15 over 5 factorial is less than 1. Therefore, 15 over 5 factorial times 1 tenth to the fifth is definitely less than 1 over 10 to the fifth, right, without doing the computation. And that is the Lagrange error bound. So I don't know if I probably did the, this is the Lagrange error bound. Error bound. Uh, I don't know. I think writing like that should hopefully be sufficient. I don't know exactly how picky they're going to be on your setup, but um, that's that's what I would include as the Lagrange error bound. That is what it is. Okay, let G be the functions that G of 0 is 4 and G prime of X is that. Write a second degree Taylor polynomial for G about X equals 0. Okay, so second degree means they just want you to do the next term, right? So um, G double prime so of X is going to be product rule. You do e to the x times f of x, because derivative e to the x is e to the x, plus e to the x times f prime of x. And then our t second degree Taylor polynomial is going to be, you know, like, it's going to be g of 0 plus g prime at 0 x plus g prime at second derivative at 0 over 2 factorial x squared, right? <clears throat> so g of 0, they tell you, is 4. g prime at 0 is e to the 0, f of 0. What is f of 0? f of 0 is 2. e to the 0 is 1. So let me just write this out. g prime at 0 is this. That's 1 times 2. So that's 2, right? f of 0 is 2. So that's 2. So it's going to be 2x. And then g double prime at 0, OK? is going to be this thing. That's going to be e to the 0, f of 0, plus e to the 0, f prime at 0. f of 0 is 2. So this is 1 times 2, plus 1. What is f prime at 0? 3. So this is 5. So this is going to be plus 5 over 2 x squared. Oops. OK, and that is our second degree Taylor polynomial there. So yeah, any if I have any mistakes, I'll put it in the comments. But I think that, unless I messed up an algebra, that was generally the right idea.